Hastings. Uh, last year, my wife and I uh, travel in from a village outside Hastings every Sunday to see streams of people going out to car boot fairs. And uh, we were praying about how we could get these people to come to church. And then all of a sudden, God put it on our hearts that we should be going, do what Jesus would do, and go to them. And so we started last year, right at the end of the year, uh, Car Boot Church. Uh, I wanted to come on this course and was encouraged to come on this course by, by my rector um, just to look at how we to take that idea, how we develop it and how, how we can use that idea in order to introduce people to Jesus Christ because it's all very well just going along and showing love to people but what we really want to do is get them to know the living God at the end of the day. We felt that we were being called to do it. We went in and, and, and we were offering prayer to people and we were offering free water and we were offering some, some Bibles to people as well. But we weren't really sure where to, how to develop it from there. Um, I think one of the big things that came out to me today was the word community. And it's about a re building up a regular presence, building up trust and so that people will see you as part, regularly part of that and expect you to be there and feel it's somewhere where they will then feel comfortable to come along and spend time um, opening up their hearts and, and learning about God at the same time. So, First day's been great. We spent the first day looking at core values, uh, absolute values and relative values and how we relate what we're doing to the community that we're looking to serve out there. Um, in a long day, but it's been some great ideas and I'm going to be going ahead, uh, going home tonight with my head buzzing full of uh, further things to think about and pray about. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what, what today's been about. And uh, if you've not done the course, do it, it's fantastic. So. The course was partly uh, paid for, um, well, four-fifths of it were paid for by a grant from the Diocese of Chichester, which has been great. Uh, and they've been very supportive about not just me, but other people from the local churches coming on this course. So it's well worthwhile, if you're looking to do this, to look around and see what grant support is available, because it is out there. It's partly about just, just taking that time out in busy life to sort of share with other people and to pray about and to think about where you're going. It's all very well coming in with a, I've got a great idea how to take God, how to take Jesus out to people, but um, at the end of the day, you need to be very careful how you're doing it. You need to look at why you're doing it and how you do it um, in order to ensure that what you're doing has integrity at the end of the day and to ensure that what you're doing is attractional to those people that you're looking to serve because sometimes we think we know what's best for other people um, and we haven't looked deep enough into it and I think the first day has been about very much about that that I need to uh, and those that are working with me on this we need to go away and think about the people that we're looking to outreach to and how we do that so uh, uh, um, certainly from the first day I've, I've got a lot to take away and, and think about.